Hey everyone, it's me JJ with another exciting and interesting fun tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to take your comic books and turn them into uh, quick time movies so you can watch them instead of reading them. Now in case you're wondering why a person would want to do this, it's a great way to view your comic books without having to actually take them out of uh, their bags. You know, with the bags and the boards. You know, you can uh, read your comic and not crease it or, you know, use it. So, and uh, on top of that, um, you can record your own audio track at a later date if you want. And actually read the comic and... Uh, you know, just uh, listen to yourself or whoever read the comic, and uh, you know you you don't have to read so much. So, and also I, I find that uh, reading comic books uh, tends to give me a neck ache. You know, because uh, you got to hold the book, you know, and you, you either that or put it on a table, and you usually have to look down. And uh, you know, books they're just cumbersome. You know, it's it's much easier to just put them on a screen. So, uh, you'll have to forgive me. This video is uh, Apple-centric. You know, uh, I, I, I could, you know, if I, if I wanted to, if I was feeling really elite, you know, I could make a program to uh, do this automatically. But, uh, you know, I'm a pretty busy guy, and there's only one of me. And usually when a, a programmer makes a program, a developer, you know, you got to... Uh, prepare for uh, software maintenance and upkeep. You know, when new operating systems and updates come out, you sometimes have to update your programs to uh, run on the new operating systems. And uh, I have no intentions of doing that. So, there are Unix scripts out there that will automatically do this process for you. Usually it involves taking a, a, a folder filled with JPEGs and uh, re-encoding them uh, to a movie using a program such as FFmpeg. Um, but, you know, that uh, you have to have Unix knowledge, and uh, I figured this is the easiest way to do it, you know, for just about anybody. Um, and, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a computer expert, feel free to take my idea and uh, make a program and make it easy for everybody. I'm just basically throwing this idea out there. So, uh, let's see if we can get a picture of this. I have, uh, hmm, no we can't. Let me turn on a light. Okay, I've got, uh, an amazing fantasy Spider-Man comic in the bag right here. And, uh, obviously it's not issue number one, because if I had amazing fantasy issue number one, I'd probably have, like, a new car. And, uh, you know, a uh, newer computer, <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't even have it, so I'd sell it, yeah, so, uh, but this is a reprint, and uh, so uh, I own this comic, this is my comic, so, uh, you know, I feel like I have the right to do uh, anything I want with it, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, manipulating it, you know, I could scan it using a scanner, uh, to get these uh, JPEG images, or I could go to a website, which I've already done, and find a uh, readily obtainable uh, CBR file, or uh, sometimes it's a CBZ file. And uh, I'm not sure if everybody knows this or not, but these CBR and CBZ files tend to, uh, well, they always um, have JPEG images inside of them. Um, they're basically like a zip archive um, filled with JPEGs. So if we go ahead and double click it, I have Stuff It Expander already set up to uh, process the file. So, oh, and it happened so quickly, it just created the folder automatically. So when we double click it, you can see, uh, let me loosen the tripod here, we have all these uh, JPEG images for all the different pages. And there's uh, 25 total pictures. Alright. 
So now what we want to do is we want to go into iPhoto, which I already have open here, and I've already created an amazing Spider-Man uh, album right here. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, take our images from the archive and uh, just select them all, highlight them, and uh, click and drag them over here to the Amazing Spider-Man album and uh, they will copy. And now we can see that uh, we have the whole comic book right here. Uh, it should be in order. Um, if it's not in order, you can go to the view menu um, in iPhoto and select sort photos by title. And uh, now they are in order. So you can tell they are in order, uh, especially because you got the cover right here as the first photo. Okay, so when we're in iPhoto, we got to make sure that uh, the album is select and selected and highlighted. And uh, just to be extra safe, we can hit the Command A button um, to select all of these. As you can see, issue number one is the only, or the cover of issue number one is the only uh, image highlighted. So when I hit uh, Command A, it selects all of them. Now they got that uh, blue border around them. And uh, we can uh, go into the file menu of iPhoto and uh, select the export option. And it'll pop up this window. And I already know the dimensions of this comic book are 685 by 1069 pixels. Um, sometimes these comics uh, come in different, uh, you know, sizes. Sometimes they're really high res. I have one Spider-Man comic that's uh, 1360 pixels by 2095. And uh, sometimes I'll uh, have to divide the pixels by a number, like let's say 5, or... Uh, you know what have you, and if you if you divide it by uh, by five, I think it comes out to two seventy two by four nineteen, or if you divide it by uh, four, it'll be five forty four by eight thirty eight, and so forth. This will just result in a smaller movie file, takes up less space on the hard drive, um, but I'll just stick with the default dimensions for now, and uh, we'll just have uh, black for the background color it really doesn't matter and then uh, music you can add your own voiceover track where you're reading the comic if you want but um, I don't have one made at the moment so this will just be the pictures because um, this is unchecked right here and uh, we're gonna display the images for 15 seconds because this isn't a particularly wordy issue of spider-man um, you might want to make it 20 seconds or even 25 seconds if there's a lot of text. You know, if you're reading something like the Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep comic series, you, you might want to make it a minute per image because they basically take the entire novel and turn it into graphic uh, novel form. So, and this was all done on the QuickTime tab right here of the Export Photos, which is found under the File menu of iPhoto. And now we can export the photos to the Amazing Spider-Man folder right here. I'm going to name the movie Amazing Spider-Man 001 because it's issue number one. And uh, hit enter. And uh, I'm going to replace one that I've already made. It begins the export process. And uh, we're done. So now, just to show you um, what this experience is like once you're done. Alright, and now I will go ahead and uh, double click it and open it up in the QuickTime Movie Player and uh, I'll show you what it's like to uh, watch a comic book in a movie. So, here's our movie display in the shape of a comic book and uh, I'll go ahead and hide these windows, get them out of the way, and we'll hit play, and we can see Amazing Spider-Man, two great full-length Spider-Man thrillers.
And it says, the Fantastic Four think I'm trapped, but they don't suspect my real power. And, uh, you can see the chameleon strikes back. And then it goes ahead to the next frame of the comic book. And freak, public menace. Oh my. And people are pointing at him, and oh my, it's... It's looking bad for Spider-Man, and the movie will just uh, keep playing. As you can see, the movie is just playing along here. And like I said, if, if you're a real comic nerd, and you like uh, reviewing your comics over and over and over again, it can really pay off to uh, make your own audio track to add to the movie, um, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. So. But, so that's the end of the tutorial, how to take a comic book and turn it into a movie that you can watch on, a, you know, a, an Apple TV or just on your computer. Or you could even make a DVD, hypothetically, and, uh, you know, back up your comics that way. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm JJ, and uh, until next time, see you later.